Well, we're riding this bird now. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, you learned how to uh, ride a vulture bird thing quite uh, quickly. Um, and uh, there's other derpy birds around. <laughs> well, um, so uh, we've escaped Mog Chothra and probably left our village, our baking village, to doom and destruction. Um, I'm not sure if that was the right decision, but if Vela died here, I guess it would have been the end of the story. Huh, well, let's see where we're heading now. Going through the clouds into a cloud city. Well, that's something to behold, isn't it? Uh, but we still don't... Um, that's not good. Well, I'm sure we'll land safely. Uh, I guess we're going beyond the plague dam. That's the only indication of where we're going. Uh, killing Mog Chatha would kind of be our final objective, though. Um, oh. I guess she was right. It is a she. Ooh. Got an egg. Um. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, um, here we are in a cloud city filled with crazy birds and a Dad, weird look. looking man. Jessie brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Alright, it looks like we're now in some kind of cloud kingdom with Vela here. And this little boy and a creepy dad. Uh, so before we talk to them, let's have a quick look around. Hello? Uh, this is the bird that brought me hey, here. Thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Uh, well, I guess I'm not sure <laughs> if uh, the bird understands me. What else we got here? Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Uh, I actually sink down into this ground here. If I stand on it, what? I wonder. Okay, better find out now. What happens if I fall right through the clouds? Here we go. And... <laughs> oh, we do fall, but a bird comes to save us. I see. Well, that's very nice of you. Puts me right back here. Oh, I could actually use that as maybe a shortcut. Um, what else we got? Different kinds of Hi birds. There. What's this thing? Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. That direction for more clouds? Okay. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. That's a point. Hi, birdie. This Looks way? Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Hmm. Wonder what that is. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant... Oh! There was a big hole right there. <laughs> well, okay, never mind. We can just skip that. We don't want to watch that too many times. So, oh, cloud shoes. We could use those. What do you birds do for fun around here? I do wonder. Hmm, maybe this sign is only for birds. Possibly. Well, uh, let's go see what these guys over here have to say. Uh, we have been wandering around for quite some time. So, hello. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Chit? Well, uh, so apparently this is Mr. Smooth, uh, and this is his son, I'm thinking. Well, let's find out who you are. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. The preeners? We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Right, okay, um... Don't the birds do that? Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Right, so these birds really aren't all that smart. Um, okay, uh, how are we floating? Yes, how does all of this work? How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, area? Yeah, yeah, It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Um, well, uh, the logic is correct, though in actual application I'm not sure if these guys know what they're talking about. Well, maybe they can help me anyway. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. 
Uh, right. Um, let's see. Um... Let, let's be honest here. I just escaped and Mog Chathra is gonna cause some havoc. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? <laughs> Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Right, so these guys are practically insane as well. Uh, yes, I did have a better idea of killing the beast. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chathra. Right. Okay, um... Let's see. Uh, I just need to get home. That that would be a good idea. Maybe my family's all dead at this point. Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does. But she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Right. Ah, oh, Mom. Uh, the Mom might have some sense in her. Well, uh, alright, let's... Uh, I need to go see Mog Chathra. I need to get to Mog Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Oh, I see where this is going. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Right, so I think I know where this is going. I'm gonna have to go to Shell Mound and compete in their Maiden's Feast, giving me an opportunity to kill Mog Chathra. Well, uh, okay, uh, how do I get there? How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Um, who is Jesse? Who's Jessie? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Right, okay. Why Why? Why should I stay away from Jessie? Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Right. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell Shh, through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. Right. So, um... Maybe I can go find that cleaner. Um... Any idea besides that? Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it... Well... He is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably <laughs> right. fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. That sounds horribly mortifying, uh, but you guys seem unfazed. Uh, how about this Brother Lightbeard guy? What's he about? Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, uh. chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Right. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll... Eat a pig! No freestyling chit. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> uh, well, these guys are thoroughly insane, but over here there seems to be some cloud shoes. Perhaps I could use those to get around a bit easier. Uh, maybe I'll uh, negate the... What is it? The volume? Area? Careful. Buoyancy? Ah. Well, that's not good. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Um, sorry? Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. 
Well, there's a quest. Get her a knife. Oh, don't I have a knife? Hmm. Well, anyway, what's your name? So, what's your name? Carl? Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. And that seems to be a trend here. I'm surprised the shop isn't called Cloud Shoes. Uh, but, um, yeah, how about those two guys down there? Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Ah. Uh, what did they do this time? This is the mom, right, okay. Um, let's see. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Uh, probably. Um, I think they're gonna hurt someone with those sticks. Uh, well, I don't think they're working that hard, actually. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Oh, come on. Um, well, you must be very proud. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I think they're gonna hurt somebody with those sticks? I really don't, but maybe they will. I think they're gonna hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Right, who's Har- oh, Harmony's that light- light beard? What was it called again? Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Right, uh, so the husband's following this Lightbeard fella. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? No, no, I was asking all about them. Uh, so you can't make hats without a knife. Wait, you're making shoes. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. Um, you make shoes out of clouds? You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about... Wait, I know this. <laughs> it's about, um... Attitude! Attitude. Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Right. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. <laughs> right. Well, um, uh, why don't you... Yeah, your teeth. How about, how about those? Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, ah, my work. Right, well, maybe I can give you... M Where's my knife? Did I lose all my inventory? Oh, I guess I did. Um, so I'm gonna have to go find my knife somewhere. Uh, enough from this place. I can either go to more clouds, which I don't have cloud shoes, so it's probably not down there. Something's going on that way, and this way is for birds. So, um, the knife fell down, so I'm gonna go down the ladder here, I think. And see what uh, what I can find. Ah, well, this doesn't look very pleasant. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. Well, it doesn't look like it. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. Well, who is this crazy bird lady? Hello? How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> um, well, uh... How's the view? So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Oh, this is the teenage daughter, is it? Well, nice outfit. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Hmm, did you say about those shoes? Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. Perfect. And uh, Vela's got tiny feet forever. too. Um, so what are you doing here? What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Right. Oh, I see. This was where the Maiden's Feast happened. And she was an offering, but she was not chosen. Wow, okay. Um... Yes. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. 
No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Um... Yes, if the feast is over, what are you doing here? If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Um, well, uh, yes, look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Well, uh, this is uh, very pleasant. Um, ah, maybe this will make her feel better. I was in a maiden's feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Um... Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get picked. Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, I only said that because I'm sad. And because it's all torn up and stuff. Well, she's got a point. Uh, well, uh, need any help? Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Um... Yes, I think we should start fighting that monster, really. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Ah, uh, don't worry, you'll get over that. Uh, but we got some cloud shoes, uh, which is going to be very handy, which means I should now be able to go towards the cloud area. Let's see, can I put... Let me just, just have a look. My size. Just my size. Perfect. Tiny feet. There we go. Now, we should be able to walk right across these clouds and Hi not there. sink. Perfect. Now, this way there's more clouds and... Oh wait, there's actually a way up there as well. Um, I didn't notice that before. There's actually... Let's go have a look at what that is. It's up... Yeah, yeah what, what's Looks that? Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. Oh, but I gotta return the egg before I can go that way. I see. Okay, so let's head towards the clouds, which I should now be able to walk across. Actually, this looks like someone's house. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Right, bowls of enlightening. It's empty. Yes, that is why I said that thing about making an offering. <laughs> well, who are you? Hi, are you? You may call me Fether. Oh, Fether? yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fether. Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. Right, so this is, um, an apostle, I guess? I don't know. Uh, what are you guarding? What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. Um, so, <laughs> you're Mr. Lightbeard's Heavy. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's Heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Um, oh yes, Gus the Cleaner. I wonder where he went. Um, do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose if Gus dropped the U, it would be like g g g Gus? Gus? Oh yeah, it does sound like gas. Um, well, um, can I see Mr. Lightbeard? Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Right, um, well, what, what's he kind of looking for? What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh. Weird. Right. Okay. Um, don't suppose there's a ladder that goes downwards? I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. <laughs> oh, I love the writing in this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, well, that was, that was very enlightening, actually. Uh, that that should be a, a quote. Both uh, most ladders go in both directions. Um, well, can I go up without an offering? Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. 
Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Stay yes. Light. So, I'm gonna need some kind of offering to uh, give to this guy here. So, let's head back and try another way. I don't think... We can't go this way, can we? What do we? you birds do for fun around here? No, I can't really get up that way. So let's go back this way and try the side on the right. Um, it's said that way is mostly for birds, but it's kind of the last place I can go right now. So, well, there's a lot of birds here and um, another person. Hi, I'm Mag... Mm, McGee. McGee? Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. Um, what was your name again? What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Right, okay. Um, don't you mind that? Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your dad's pretty creepy. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Uh, oh, your dad's in a cult? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Right, sounds like a midlife crisis to me. So what are you doing? What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. <laughs> right, okay. Um... How do you get the eggs in the... Yeah, how do you get them in the high nests? How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... Um... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, ooh. Can I borrow it? Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? Okay. True. Well, not something. Um, how do I get out of here? Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Right. Uh, why'd they do that? Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Hmm. Maybe I should just jump. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoopsie birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What Whoops you need birdie is a guards. Ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. Right. Huh. That Mr. Lightbeard's big on all this, huh? Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But yeah. it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. <laughs> right. Uh, ooh, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? There's another one back there, actually, yeah. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Right. What, yeah, why do they make them out of gold? Why not porcelain or something? That'd look better, right? Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Ah, right. Well, that makes sense. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. I well, feel... I'll leave you alone. I feel worse now about losing that knife. Okay. Huh, well, uh, I got a ladder from here. Could I actually... Oh, I can actually walk this way. Let's have a look what's over here, then. Um, anything else? So I got this ladder. It's extendable. It's extendable? Ah. That is one heavy-looking egg. Seems like what I need to get. Good birdie. <laughs> the birds are nice, though. Those I like the birds. don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hmm. Let's see. What do you think I can use this ladder on? Could I actually do this? Oh. That works. Uh, no. That hey, doesn't work. Off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. 
Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't have anything else with me. Um... Looks like some kind of e-birds want to help me kill Mogchathra. <laughs> that would be really good, actually. We could do with uh, some help killing Mogchathra. So there's a bit of a hatchery back there. Um, now, there's not really much else uh, I could go to. Could I go? Hi. Oh, there's a knife. There we Can't go. Get up there. Yes, perfect. Hey, welcome back. Just need to use this here. Get that knife back. Here we go. It's Grab my that. mom's special ceremonial knife. Take the ladder back, and now let's head back and uh, return the knife. No, no, not that way. Let's head this Hi way. There. Right here, and let's go give that knife back. Actually, here we go. Say, that's some knife. Good balance. Nice heft. Ooh, uh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Uh, it's Here. your knife. Thanks. Oh, nice. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 <laughs> and you're going to be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Well, uh, I got bigger shoes now. These things are so big, they won't even stay on my feet. Well, handy though. Uh, maybe I can use those as an offering. Uh, hmm, I wonder. Could I use this? I don't think she'll find that an adequate replacement for her missing egg. No, I guess not. But maybe I can use these shoes as an offering? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. A How about these? Offering. Harmony will be pleased. Perfect. Now, let's go see this uh, Mr. Harmony Lightbeard. Oh wow, he's way up here, huh? And his palace is... Uh... Oh. It's mainly a big chair, isn't it? Hmm. I'm not all that impressed, really. Um... Hi. Hi. Oh my! A fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Um, right. Uh, let's just confirm who this person is. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Right, um, can you help me kill Mogchathra, maybe? Can you help me kill Mogchathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Oh. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Uh, right, um, fell out of, does he have like a treasure, of like a pile of golden eggs back there? Um, yes, actually I just want to get off. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm, everyone else is mentally ill. Uh, sanity is not a statistic. Let's see, um... Are you done with that golden egg, though? Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine! I might need it someday. Uh, I mean... Take it away! I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Um... What's up for there? Oh. Oh. Well, um, okay. Um... Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Uh, that's why a point. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Um... That's weird. Uh, any idea where Jesse's egg went? Yes, I would like to know that. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Maryloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Right, okay. Um, but I really, really want to get out of here. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Um, 
Mariloft would become lighter? Mariloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But now... <laughs> Everyone would leave. Everyone would leave? What? No! I could go kill Mogchathra? What an offensive idea. No! Um. People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoops of Birdie network to make escape. I mean... Escape? Unenlightenment. Impossible. Right, so why are you up here so high anyway? Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. Wait, no, that's It'll not right. start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. I Thanks think you mean... Help. See you later. Indoctrination. Ah, uh, well, um, at least we got that golden egg. Perhaps we could use that. Or for there. Oh dear. Well, let's go grab the egg first. Is he actually sleeping? Oh man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. Oh, can we get these shoes back? There we go. Am I gonna sink now with the, the golden egg in my inventory? Possibly. 